This is the second video in my tutorial series where I'm going to try to animate this skeleton model which I exported from the software MakeHuman. And in the last video we left off with looking at doing the hands in this video. So I'll call up my rigging, go into edit mode and we'll have a look at these hands. I've made a little decision on the hands after a little bit of experimentation and trial and error that the way the hand is isn't really going to work for the way that I figure I can animate it and I'm going to actually rebuild this hand. What I'm going to do to do that is start off by selecting the first joint in the middle finger and snapping my cursor to it. So I'll send cursor to selection then I'll pick this joint in between the pinky and the, and the wrist bone and I'll snap that to the cursor. So selection to cursor. Then I'm going to pick the rest of these bones select them all and erase them. And I'll slide this window out. Now I'm going to use the number pad buttons, number pad 4, to rotate the entire scene until the x-axis is pointing up and down and the arm is facing upwards. And use the spacebar to add a bone. Next, I'm going to go to the other side of the model and repeat that same process. Select the first bone in the middle finger, snap my cursor to it. Select the bone in between the pinky and the wrist and snap it to the cursor. Select and delete all of the finger bones. And erase those. Again, use the number pad buttons to orient the X axis upwards. Press tab, add bone. Now I'll select that bone. and its counterpart on the left hand side of the body. Enter the armature dialog and subdivide multi. Number of cuts, two. This will split that bone into three bones. Now I'm going to go into object mode and temporarily bring back my skeleton mesh so that I can see what's going on here. <clears throat> Tab back into edit mode. And while I still have the three bones selected on both sides of the body, I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate, shift D, press the Y button so it only moves along the Y axis and bring these into all of the other fingers. So I'll duplicate it again, limit to Y, bring it into the pinky, duplicate it again, limit to Y, bring it into the index finger. And duplicate it one last time. This time for the thumb and I'll bring that in a little bit and use the sizing option so that I can pull both sides equally in towards that thumb. Now I'll look at that from a front view. Thumb bone is going to need to be brought down into the area of the thumb so I'll grab it and move it along Z this time until it's in the middle of the thumb and that would probably be easier to see if I turned on the x-ray option 
but it's placed in the middle of the thumb here. Next thing I want to do is rotate the thumb. <clears throat> so I'll select the first pivot in that assembly and snap my cursor to it. Cursor to selection. Then I'll select all of the bones or the thumb and come down and change my pivot from median point to 3D cursor and I'll rotate this from the top view and rotate using the control button and rotate it by 30 degrees. Since that operation could not be done on both sides at once, I'll now need to do it to the right hand side. Snap the cursor to the selection, select the three bones, enter the top view, rotate, use the control key and rotate it to 30 degrees. As a last step, it's good to remember to turn off 3D cursor and switch it back to median point because that can grow confusing when we forget to change that. It's not a, all that often that we change that particular setting. Um, that's it, the basics of my hand and I'm going to cut away from my video to find out how much time I have left and how much more I can do in this video if any. So I'll be back in just a second. Well I have about three minutes left in this video and that's just about enough time to quickly make an example of what I'll do next. A lot of which I'm going to finish off camera. And what I need to do now is to move these joints in the rigging so that they meet up with the joints in the mesh. And how I'm going to do that is by select one joint on the right hand side of the rigging. the same joint on the left side of the rigging and scale it in and because I switched my pivot back to median center the center point between these two is where the scaling will pull from and the scaling will be even across both sides of the model and we'll line up all of these joints in this manner. So I'm going to finish that process behind the scenes and I'll come back with the thumbs left because they're a little bit different than the fingers. And So I'll do the thumbs separately and that'll be the next thing that we work on in this tutorial series. So I'll finish up one more joint here and then call this a video. Again select one on each side, the identical point, scale it inwards until it meets up with its corresponding joint in the mesh. and those look pretty good perhaps a touch more scale that in a wee bit more so I'm gonna do that across the entire four fingers and all 12 joints plus the fingertips and return with that done so I'll see you in the next video till then happy modeling